since it took a, took a book with 31,173 scriptures yeah. in it, 810,697 words. Thank you. Amen. You know, you just think about David. His name is mentioned 600 times in this Bible. Amen. 60 times in the New Testament. So you figure that out. But let's look over in the book of Luke. Luke was the only Gentile writer. Luke. Luke. Not learn from Luke. Amen. Luke. 11th chapter. If you see it, we honor God today. The Bible talks about how the backslider and the heart shall be filled with their own ways, and the good man shall be satisfied by himself. Amen. That's Proverbs 14, 14. You see, a backslider will always think that they can get away with something. But see, that, you see, that they just always think to see that if the 14 and, and matter of fact, probably 14 and 12 said so there's a way that seen it right. Amen. She jumped on top of the back side. See, see, people thought they only way of seen it. Yes, right. Don't care what God said. Amen. Hello here. Don't care what God said. But when you know you've been born again. Yes. Hello here. There's some people that don't like they've ever been born again. I refuse to act. Like, I'm just an ordinary man. Amen. If you go to your, you know, your little family reunions and stuff like that, I just, I just, man, I don't need to be like a bunny, a bunny rabbit, a bunch of, a bunch of wolves. You know, my God, because I'm going to be cutting somebody if I'm there. You know what I'm talking They're probably going to throw me out of the family reunion. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We'll get to fix it. So we get to error. Amen. But how can you act ordinary when you, you know, your sister, sister's brother, and all this stuff, they good Baptist, Methodist, Catholic, Hindus, or something? Mm -hmm. I don't know how you can be comfortable with it. I just like, girl, how you can be comfortable with it? It's always in my mind to get an edge. Yes. Get huh? an To get an edge. I'm always looking for God. The Bible says in, in Romans, I think it's somewhere around 8 and 14. It says, Many which are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. Now, what do you think? I don't. We see, see, we in a light. I'm, I'm carrying something different. Amen. I have different objectives. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because God is with me. Yeah. And when God is with you, you're going to see it God's way. Amen. Right. You're going to see the way God wants. You know, the Holy Ghost has a perfect track record yeah. of always taking ordinary people and making them extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Thank you. Um, it got a perfect track record. Right? Yeah. Whatever God put His Spirit on, it's changing, baby. Yeah. Hello. Yes, Lord. God can do this. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Can you hear me? Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost, you know, takes the people. Holy Ghost can help you see above your limitation. Yeah. Remember this. The Holy Ghost will help you see it. Think above your limitation. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. It says somewhere in the book of Ephesians that he's abundantly able to do exceedingly. Yeah. Abundantly all you can think of as yeah. according to the power that's working in you. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Amen. You read that in your Bible? Amen. Ephesians 3, 20, 21. Are you listening? Why are we don't act like it? It's people that just want to act like normal people. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> look, my daddy, 27 years old, with me. These people, they just, oh, they don't talk to their old workers daddy. They think they done done something. I talked to him, I didn't know. I ain't never talked to him like he was my daddy because 
he didn't have the spiritual depth that God had given me. See, he called himself a deacon in the Baptist church. And then, and then he was a 33rd degree mason. Hello? So now he had too many gods. Because my one Elohim, huh? <laughs> huh? One Elohim could touch me. Do you hear me good? He said, if you were back this boy, I'd be with you. I said, well, you are dead. <laughs> he said, God, I'm going to talk to you. I said, he didn't have to talk to me. He feel me. Yeah. With the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You hear me? Thank you, Lord. Yeah. What? How much do God, how do God make you desire more of him? What would it take for God to make you, or what method could he use to make you desire more of him? I'm thinking about Psalm 27, 4. He said, one thing I have desired, and that I seek after. See, if you desire it, you're going to pursue it. Amen. To seek after. Amen. 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 Well, Peter says, seven, no, I'm not down that. See, it's people just work, work, work. You, what you going to do if you if you, you got money and you go to the hospital? You don't, you, nobody, you can't get healed. You know, we got a little nurse here, little sister Grace here. Yeah. You know, if you come to the hospital and, and she waiting on you, oh, I don't care how much money you got in your bed, the medicine ain't going to make, she can't make you eat. Amen. 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 Let, let me, let, let's go and get this thing over with. Uh, what was that, Luke 11? Let's start Amen. at verse number 21. And we're going to, this is a great passage. Scripture in the Bible. That, uh, in other words, you know, how do you come valuable to the kingdom of God? How do you come valuable to God? How do we do this? That you valuable to God. Amen. Now, God help me, Lord. Don't let the devil fool you that you can start at the top of the ladder. Okay? <laughs> oh, see, some people don't want to go through nothing to get something. Amen? You got to pay a cost. Amen? Now, look, laughing at verse 21, said when a, a strong man um, keepeth his palace, palace his goods are in peace. Give God some amen. amen. Give it. That means when he's fully armed. He's fully armed because, see, some people don't get fully. They just a little bit and they run off and think they got something. And when they do like Samson, they get out there and shake themselves, they find out they don't have nothing. And some people, they, they just been. They've been using methods that doesn't work, and then they get discouraged. So then they don't have nothing. <laughs> Come, on, what they use it? doesn't work, yes. and they get discouraged. Yes. <laughs> Help the Lord Jesus. Help the Lord. So let's choose for a subject if we can. When a man, when a strong man is armed. When he that armed me, when he's equipped. Yes. Hello. And the Bible said the carnal mind in Romans 8 there, 6. Are you listening to me? When you carnal mind that you can't do nothing for God now. That means it's because some people try to wrestle with 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 with, with spiritual things with a carnal mind. That means a regular mind. Because a carnal mind is death. To be carnal minded is death. Romans 8 and 6. Amen. Do you hear me, God? You see, that's what we try to do with God. Although we have this Bible on our own. Or lay it somewhere. If it ain't in the back of our car, our glove department, some people come to church, they don't know what it's about. We're looking at all the flow in the door. 
Thank you, man. But the psalmist said, Thy word am I hid in my heart. That I might not. Hello here. Yes, Lord. And we ask some people to stand up today that think they so spiritually. Give me, give me one scripture out of all 66 books. Forget you, preacher. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Forget you. Whatever you think that you got and it's yours, where did you get the maturity from the building? You don't want nothing. Amen. Amen. Now, so what we come, why, how can we get to this question here? That when a man's strong arm, when a strong man, and that means mankind, that just don't mean a male figure, okay? So you don't lay this, we don't want to leave you out. Amen. So when we get here, why do we get here? How do we get to this situation here? That when a man that's strong, he's strong. How do we get strong? Well, let me tell you something. God has never asked you to do nothing by yourself. Amen. Thank you. We got those old women that just about wore out and went through all kinds of beings already. And they well, you know, I'm just a woman and I ain't nobody but me. So what do you want me to do about it? Huh? That excuses might get people to feel sorry for you, but God is not going to feel sorry for you because He's equipped you already. Hello? God has never told you to do nothing. It wasn't say gifts and calling come to doubt with them. That means if you got a calling, if you got a gift, there's a calling. Help me, Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. Gifts. And calling, come without repentance. Are you listening? That means God already required it for you. Are you listening? God meant you. We're talking about when a, when a strong man, you got you got you fully equipped. Because Ephesians, somewhere down there, 6 and 10, said, Find in my brethren. What do they say? You say they're about. Where do you be strong yet? No, do it by yourself. Huh? In the Lord. Yes, you get people that have never said nothing about God. Oh. They don't talk about God. Don't talk about God. I find a way to admit God every week. Mm. You know, they find a way to admit God every week. Don't let the devil do it. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus says through the apostle Paul in Philippians 2 5. Yes. He said, Let this man. You can't tell me I'm gonna be some kind of weak little old thing. I'm talking about wife is big now. I'm going to complain to her. You hear me good. Now we got people that pray about everything. They'll never ask you say, pray for me and my wife, we be strong. No. Huh? Holding hands don't mean you do together. <laughs> Your heart ain't right. Huh? So how do we get to this point is what I'm trying to talk to you about this moment. Are you listening? Help me, Lord. Here's what Jesus made the statement that the Bible talks like the 14th verse in Mukwe. And it was, and he was casting out a devil. And it was dumb. And it was came to pass when the devil was gone out, the dumb spake, and the people wondered. I know my sister, sister Elva, she'll be telling people about all oh, the pastor, this and all, so on. But I want you to know today, praise God, how am I going to do this? Yes. I don't care what the problem is, God is bigger than the problem. Yes. Hmm? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The reason people don't get it from God, and the reason they look at you like a sick calf in a hailstone, when some things are going on, but watch what he says in, in Matthew 11 and 28. He said, Come unto me, all oh, you that labor and I care to labor. I will give you. He didn't say you, God, give you something. But the principle is coming. And you just got to come because you are tired of that stuff. Amen. Huh? Are oh, you listening to me? Just Oh, I will give you rest. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Now the first time we talk about rest, we talk just sit down. <laughs> call them by. See the call them by. See call them by. Well, I don't want to do nothing. Is it all that? Amen. But why is it Take my yoke upon you. Yeah. Uh, and learn on me. Uh oh, forget you, Jesus. I thought I was just going to be resting and you do all the work. Uh, yeah, Luke, the, five, the fifth chapter here, he, he said, Brother, do, do you have any fish? He's we've been fishing all night and he caught nothing. He said, nevertheless, it's my word. Yes. And people don't care about this word. Go to school, whatever they tell you, I'm just studying, studying, studying. But they won't study the Bible. You did people, I passed my test. Have you passed God's test? Hmm? If I go to school, wherever I go, it's going to light coming in there. Okay, how dark I am, light coming in there. Are you listening? Amen. Light coming in there. Amen. Why? Because God told me that I'm the light. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Do you hear me good? Amen. You found that in Matthew 5? Amen. 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 Do you hear me good? Amen. You found out something. But we don't do that. We just want to be mediocre. I don't care if you got a job. You go to the job, my God, there's some thought of change there. They don't know you've been with somebody. They don't know you've been with Jesus. What they said in Acts 3, so they perceived that he boy, was ignorant and unknown because why they've been with Jesus. Huh? Is this in your Bible what I'm preaching? I'm just talking to you. Either. I'm just I'm just giving you sweet nothing. Say, man. Are you listening to me? Watch what he says here. He said now, he they don't believe preachers don't believe this. They believe in hauling, singing, and, and doing something and thinking they something because they got degrees. Your degree won't cast no devil out. Move he said, and some of them said, he casts out devils through Bethsaida, the chief of the devil. Man, when you do good, do you hear me? <laughs> See, because when Jesus came through, let me, let me just say a little rest. When Jesus came through, here's his problem. And we won't accept today, here's his problem. Jesus had a problem. He had the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And they had their own stuff. Amen. They had their own stuff. So they were diametrically opposed to him. Because he's going to have you read. Or oh, he's going to have heard it says an old. See, they didn't like it. Just like it. You don't like it. But somebody trying to uproot you from your mess. Amen. Amen. And then you're a mess, and that's why you can't help nobody else get all they mess. And the only time you do is look for other mess. On me. Amen. <laughs> now, if you're married, I ain't never did you wrong. Amen. Amen. That's your husband. Amen. And if you if you're a man, I ain't never did you wrong. That's your wife. Amen. Amen. Are you sitting there? Help me, Lord Jesus. Amen. You got the wrong fella. Amen. Amen. Now look what, what they called you. Tell Jesus, look, wait a minute, you cast this out by, by the devil. They told you because they didn't like it. Amen. They didn't like it. They did not like what he preached. They didn't like what he stand for because this was the, he came to his own John 1 and 11 and on the seat of not 12, 11 there. Amen. Are you listening to me? Uh, 10 said he was in the world. Amen. And the world made by him. They didn't want him. Amen. Are you listening to me? Why do you always get mad at the one that's in help you? You just like Pharisees. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Right? Turn around and forget when you need. They can't keep it going. See, a change is no stronger than the weakest link. I don't care how many, I don't care how many, how long we live. Amen. Listen to the church what I'm talking about. Now, why are you calling Jesus the devil? So that they did it to the green. They're due to the dry. That's the old Bible. He said, but some of them said he's casting out some of them, not all of them, out devils.
through Bezebub, the chief of the devil. And other temple. No, you, you show sure nobody the temple of Jesus, is Huh? No, he said tempted. But see, you can't be tempted. You know, you, you can't be. There's people, they're just so holy, they can't be tempted by nothing. Huh? Amen. You're a woman you can lay down with a with hundred men naked and don't bother you. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't talk about, oh, you don't bother me. You're a liar. <laughs> liar, liar, liar. Your mouth's on fire. Yes, Lord. Amen. <laughs> oh, liar, amen. Oh, this is man, I go in a lot of neighborhoods. I was in one neighborhood, a guy, he lived right by the preacher. Yes. Uh, 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 the lady there right by the preacher. The guy said, I'll come, uh, well, I'll go with you right there. Come pick you up right by the preacher. I, well, I don't care. It's nothing time. I don't care. Amen. I come in at night. God will see you. What's wrong with you? What are you going to do? Run a gift from God? <laughs> huh? You know what I'm saying? You know what Peter told Simon? He said, your heart is not right with God. This is why some people don't have no power. They are in their Christ is right with God. Are you listening to me? This is what I'm talking about. Other tempting him, sought uh, uh, him, sought him a sign from heaven. Say, well, you must have done all kind of praise. Testing him. You know, you know, now you don't have had this problem. But he knowing what? Oh, that's a, he's omniscient. He know everything. Huh? And that's why some people they put the screwing around with me. I I must stay with God for a long time, man. So I got a lot to tell God. Are you listening to me? I ain't got one in five minutes prayer. Lord bless me being here some more time. <laughs> man, I get to holler and talk and whatever God put in my spirit, Lord, help us. I'm, I'm not coming to say, Lord, you know we need no, not my Lord, help us. Do you hear me good? Whatever God is pushing in there, amen. Do you hear me good? Let it bring blood out. Let me call on him, amen. Are you listening? Anyway. But he knowing there are rocks. You see, Psalm 139, verse number two. He knows the down setting. He knows the uprising. There's not a throat in my mouth that he don't know fuck off in my lips, he says. Huh? But some people, my God, you read on down about the seventh verse, he said, man, this is too wonderful for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said, too wonderful for me. My God, you thank you enough. But God got a man somewhere. He'll pick your throat. We're still trying to get to where, well. when you, you, you know, when a strong man is armed, fully armed. Amen. Give the group because you hear you talking to stuff. Yeah. And people, they just look down and do something, man. Because they don't, they have no, no objective, you know, of uh, uh, really conquering oh. what God has gave us power yeah. to deal with. Amen. You hear me good. Now, as I told you, you cannot take the same mindset that you got into the situation with and get out because you don't have no power. Amen. That means you got to have help. Amen. Hmm? Now, devil says you ain't fool people. I read the Bible too. So do the devil. Amen. He don't mind you reading. Amen. Matter of fact, he'll help you read. Amen. <laughs> Amen. If we look at John, well, we can stay in this Bible here. In the fourth chapter, the devil was preaching the quote of root to Jesus. Hmm? Quote them. Huh? Quote them to him. My talk talking about you. You, you. you know a few scriptures. Don't try to use them on me then, devil. That's my job. You go and use one of your kid folks. Amen. Amen. Please hit me. Help me, Lord. Help him, Lord. Help me here, Lord. Lord. Now, boy, it takes me a while, baby. <laughs> But he knowing their thrust said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Yeah. And a house divided against a house, what? Give oh. God some name. Oh, 
you gonna do it? You see, this let me show you something. What I'm saying, he's the head of the house, the divided, in the all. Amen. Amen. So the desolation. And watch what Jesus says, so you would understand. So he said, if, yeah. if conditions say also, if Satan also be divided, if he against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Uh -huh. Huh? His people just shack up. They, they ain't fighting one another. They'll kill one another when they get killed. Yeah. They nobody fights against it. Church don't fight against it. They believe in dating and stuff. They ain't nothing about it. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Going places. You ain't married. You need to leave a woman alone. When you get married, you have a lot of places to go. Mm -hmm. Huh? You have a lot of places to go. What are you doing? The Bible does not don't know where I'm dating. It belongs. Look, do I see this woman here? I go tell the preacher, look, that's the woman I, I'm, I'm thinking about. Don't really go make plans and tell her about a brand, a horseshoe run. <laughs> 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 Come but you see, there's people break every rule and then think they still going to. Let me tell you something. You cannot break rules and think there's no consequences for it. Huh? That's right. Galatians 6, 7 said, be not deceived. You're not going to make a fool out of God. You know how some people do? Huh? You see what I'm talking about? She told me to see what several men sow it. It's a T-H-O. Now, if that were you, put the, he said, that shall be also we. You see, obedience is the key to unlocking every door. Yes. See, if you really, you know, I, I'm thinking about uh, 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 Jacob, he raked a, a long time <laughs> before he, he looked, he, they tricked him. Yeah. He's said, oh, she ain't good enough. <laughs> they they who God, God is Leo or not. I'm Rachel, but I want not Leo. Man. Yeah. Huh? Amen. You see, it's obedience just there. I can refrain. That tell you what I really wanted. I can do whatever it takes to get it. Amen. Huh? Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. Give us some amen. Amen. So, amen. amen. See, the problem was, we, we divided ourselves. Amen. Thank you, Lord. How long will you hop between two opinions? Amen. See, because our flesh wanted bad, the spirit wanted to hear the problem. Help me, Lord. He said, if Satan also be divided against himself, he's not going to ask you a question then. How shall his kingdom stand? He said, how can Satan still work right here? Right. They go to the football game, they can trick you. you go. No. But man, I don't know. What you going to get there? If I'm going, I'm going for something. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Hello? Same when you go to football game, tell them to come to church. You know, well, I ain't got time. Go to New Orleans, down to Super Bowl, stay a half a night, get drunk, foolish faggots, don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> don't know where you're talking at, where you said, I'm your boy or something. You ain't going nowhere. I don't believe this baby girl just going to go off somewhere. My kid folks, ain't nobody going to let me go off. I understand it better. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's right. huh? You see, it's most people, most people, see what you, see, what is you value? How are you value? What do you value? What do you value? You value relationship with God or relationship with your stupid church? Wow. Hello, here. Yeah. Do you hear me good? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Are you listening, church? Help me here. Now, he says, because you said that I cast out devils through Bezebub. He said, that means Satan and the body team. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, child. And this is Jesus Christ. This ain't Peter Popeye or Popeye the Sailor Man that needs some spinach, man. Huh? Amen. Give me a good so you understand. 
He said, if I, by Bezabur, cast out devil, by whom do your soul? Oh, don't go for go, no boy. <laughs> Who your sons cast out my body? Right. No, he ain't devil. Therefore, shall they be your judges? You know what I'm saying? So, okay, don't believe nothing you preach in the Bible. See, it don't fit them. Right. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like giving them, them two right handed gloves, and they got right and left hand. Don't fit here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you again. I refuse to be on there. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Hmm? It takes some fight. It takes some faith. Amen. Huh? <laughs> it's busy. Because you got a lot of people. That don't mean my God. You can be a good archer. The devil got plenty of people following him. The Bible says so. Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Plenty folks yes, just going to grow. No change in life. This church is not just an information, it's a transformation. Yes. No matter your age, God can change you. Yes. Dr. Jesus. Yes. He will change you if you want to be changed. Yes. Yet he himself can never change. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Yes. Going to die. Ain't no way. Hear me good, please. Now here's some jack off that I don't even know. Yeah. Going to tell me how to go on a diet right. and lose weight. Did the jack off tell me how to gain it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Christian. I can talk to God. That's right. I got control. Amen. Come on. No, I tell you how to lose weight. Quit eating so darn much. <laughs> you too full of food anyway. Huh? Every time you come, it's sticking food up in your face. Every time you go out there in the highway, you smell apple jacks, crap jacks, cake fast, chick fil a too high for some folks, let, let's go to Sunday and then get a little chicken. That ain't even real chicken, dumb head. <laughs> and some people, I want to tell you they food after they eat it. They get it hot. Lord, thank you. I know these people would come and you think you're so spiritual. I do. Amen. I really do. <laughs> I do. God depends on him. Amen. Not her. Amen. Huh? Amen. I don't depend on myself. Are <laughs> you oh, listening to me? You see, I, look, look, I'm not over exaggerating with self. Right. Amen. You hear me good? Are oh, you listening to me? Amen. My God, some people, you go in that room, they got food all in there. Roaches and stuff out and eat them up. And just fat leg, me swole there. I'll be there. People are playing things slow. I'll be 160, 68 pounds. Man, I've got the 175. I, I said, forget this. I'm not eating grits and stuff in the morning. I'm eating fruit. Amen. And some people think they done did good because they eat a half, half. Oh, of oh, a oh, oh, grapefruit. <laughs> and they have little grapes there. And then for dinner, they'll have everything that will kill And some of you are, no wonder you won't cast out no devil. <laughs> They'll never cast out, because you got to cast yourself out for it. Anyway, praise God for it. And you really sure ain't going to help nobody else. Amen. Listen to what I'm talking about. Please bear with me. Don't be all mad. Look. Don't be upset. I'm not a real bad person. Okay? Praise God. When you needed me to pray for you, I went bad. Huh? When you needed me to do something for you, oh, oh, man, I'm a good old preacher, dude. So nice, man. This is nice. So nice, man. Now you got a little something. You still kill me. Huh? You can't run fast as me. 
Huh? And you're a lot younger than me. Can't even stand up long as I can stand up. Are you listening to me? Special brother with you. Are you going to have to see I love you, brother. Give God a big hand for brother. He's the best. And we need the best, but we ain't got nobody else right now. Wow. He's the best right now. Yeah. We love you, brother. Amen. Now, watch what I'm telling you. Because we try to get to when a, when a strong man is on, he's put it on. Amen. It's kind of like, let me just make an example of these guys. So it's kind of like this. You know, I have a couple of BMWs, but I don't have spare. And I ran over something, man, and burst two tires. And it just told me the tire was flat. But I just kept, it said you just keep, I just kept going. I just it was fast. Now I'm talking to Mother Hayes a little bit, because I don't know if her Mercedes have to run flat tires on them, but you need to get them. Because when you do it, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. You just keep going. Amen. 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 At first, I didn't like it when I first got the first BMW and it had to run flat tires on it. I hated it because they seen the ride rough and all this kind of stuff. But they start putting them on every luxury car just about, you know, BMW. You ain't going to have no spares. So you can forget it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. So boy, I got to bust my tire. I got out, the hole was inside. I said, hmm, still up. He said, you can drive. I don't care about the light being on. I ain't, I ain't pulling over like your buddy Tiny Tim had a flat and set in his car. Supposed to be a real man. Set in his car for four hours waiting on AAA. Huh? Are you silly? What? My God, I don't care if I have a jack. I'm going to me a look. If I didn't have a jack, man, listen to me, Brother Walker. If I didn't have a jack, I'd go out there in the tree and pull me some limbs off and put me some trees there, and I'd get on it some way and jack it up enough. I'm going to get that tie train. Don't call it, man. Or maybe a nice, maybe a nice little lady, you know, we buy a car. A little lady had this. She didn't drive for nothing but the stove. I don't want nothing a nice little lady to have. I want something about the gunk and I've broke it in for me. <laughs> it just says, uh, uh, maybe a nice little old lady would see me out there by God, especially here, and say, hey, hey, uh, 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 brother, do you need a jacket? Do you have one, man? Did it be good? They stay on the car for three and a half hours. At night time. I'm a man, brother. But I always start walking and find me a service station or call somebody. Do you any good? Amen. Are you listening? Now, he says, But if I, by Bezebub, cast out devils, by whom will your sons cast them out? Don't talk about my son, bro. Oh, man, talk about me. Don't talk about my son, bro. <laughs> Jesus said, He's a son. So he's talking about all of them. Amen. Cast them out. Therefore, shall they be your day one, your judges. Amen. Because that's what some of you people, your children, are going to be your judges. He said, but if, but, but if I was the final, how did he do it with the final God? Cast out devil. No doubt the kingdom of God is where it's in there. Oh. Give God some amen, please. Give him a big amen. No doubt. You see the kingdom of God is in here. When you see things happening, that's impossible. You upset about? It? You upset with me? Hello, you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Help the Lord. Yeah. He says, "No doubt, the kingdom of God yeah. is upon you." Thank you, Lord. Amen. That's what he said. When a stronger man, because he for the gift, because a house is divided. See, let me just tell you something, sisters. I don't care what my wife thinks. See, because she ain't my God. Amen. I don't try to do everything with her because see when I get ready to go to the restroom, she ain't going to. Yeah. Yeah. Bless you. Listen to me. Jesus. Yeah. Huh? Listen to me. Yeah. It's Christ in me that's my hope of glory. Yeah. Do you hear me good? Amen. Now, God ain't not told us to do nothing yeah. by ourselves. Look what he says in Acts 1 8. He said, but you shall receive power yeah. after. This is people they got. They might have spoken in tongues. They don't have the Holy Ghost. Yes. This people just, just going all up and down. I dance all day. And ain't nobody got to do nothing with me because I know how to dance and praise God in the Spirit. Amen. Do you hear me good? 
I'm not no novice in the spirit. Do you hear me? I ain't going to be around here five years, ten years. You don't have to come get around me. Praise God. I guarantee you, you don't see me dance in the spirit hundreds of times. You ain't never seen not one of these brothers come and get around me. Do you hear me? Don't have to. Are you listening to me? Because I'm dance with the spirit. Dance with the spirit. Dance with it. Do you hear me, girl? Are you listening to church? Help me. Are you listening? See, I'm mature in it because I keep learning. Amen. Are you listening? Praise the Lord. If I don't open the Bible somewhere in 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, there, amen, of 3 and 7, said they ever learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. How can people sit here don't have the Holy Ghost? How can it? You ain't going to tell me that God has some way stopped giving it out and people come here and receive it. Because yeah, right. they hungry. See, if I'm not hungry for God, I need to stop eating. Amen. You know, I, I get some consolation from people like Nelson Mandela. Now, I don't know what he believed. I've been studying a little bit by many head times this year. But I deeply looked at him, but they call him Nadebo over there in Africa. I call him Africa, Nadebo. And what did he do? 27 years. Here we go. So you understand what I'm saying. After he got out of jail, they kept him. He could have been with his wife, man. He lost his wife, but he had a common faith that he believed in. Are you listening to me? This is what makes me go. I don't care how you look at me. What you think? But I tell you, follow me in one day. I guarantee you won't find nothing wrong. We have women coming. I try to fill something I can't find nothing wrong with. They came out late now. You heard them. But I'm telling you now, my God, it's a constant. It's constant. There's no rope slack on getting that rope. Because if it takes two hours in the morning to pray, I'm going to pray for two hours. Take three hours in the morning, I'm going to pray three hours. Amen. Build up Luke. I mean, uh, 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 Jude L1, praise God, amen. Building up your most holy faith, praying in the amen. your most holy. It's got to be holy faith. Praying, where did I get the faith from? I got it from Galatians 2.20. The life I live now, I live by the who? The love me. And what did he do? He paid a price. He paid a price. Help me, Jesus. Yes, this is what I'm telling you, church. Yes, he Hear me good so you know. I know you don't care about nothing. You're looking at all this old, that old stupid shows on TV, man. It makes me sick. All this on food TV, I ain't got time for that stuff. Amen. Amen. You hear me good? Got to hear my head. Look at what God said. Are you listening to me? Amen. Now, hear me good. So, Mandela, they did everything to him. Amen. He could have got free. All he had to do was denounce the party. That's all he had to do. They kept him, lost his family, wouldn't let nobody come to him. Psychologically, they trapped his skull. Yeah. Hmm? Psychologically. They let him out. And you know, once he got out, he dreamed that he was going to be the president of South Africa. <coughs> Baby girl, he became the president Amen. of South Africa. Yeah. A lot of people died. They still fighting over the white folks trying to take his stuff, claiming that they ran all this council. But I want to just direct you to the point I want to make. What he did, after he got out, you know, he had bodyguards and stuff with him and so on, and they went out to eat at a restaurant. He was sitting there eating, and a man came on. They were sitting there eating, and the man, he would tell that guy, that said, come on, eat with us. And the man came on and was eating with him. He said, I'm going to pay for everything. And the man was just shaking and going on, trying to eat the food. And they, the man left, you know, they got through and left. He said, he said, well, why would that man shake him like that? He got some kind of disease. He said, let me tell you something. So you understand what I'm saying. So you ain't going to bother me. No, Paul said, you can't hurt me. Amen. Now, this is what Paul, what, look what man did. He said, no. He said, that man, every time I wanted water or something, that man would come in that prison, take yeah, anything with me out and pee on my head. Oh, my hmm? And he was so nervous because he thought Mandela was going to have something against him. He the one was sucking. You the one was sucking out. Amen. 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 I know a lot of stuff. Amen. Amen. You got to know how to 
Thank you, Lord. Man, Peter, he was here. He was out. He thought Mandela said to pray. He was just shaking. He's come on, eat what's man. Come on. Come on, eat what's man. Are you listening? Huh? See, you can't do that. Because if people, they think if they say something smart to you or try to write, they think they feel. See, the devil will pump them up. You told them all, didn't you? Mm. Spiritually, they can't lay hands on, on the rat. Well, they can't go to take the rat and bite them. Scare them a bug. Scare them a lizard. Scare them a roach. Ain't never seen nobody in the hospital called a roach bill. Just run it. trying to make it on this earth. He got right to be here. He got to eat little insects, huh? Amen. And you know the roach, you got termites in your house. Turn the roach to Luke Dale, eat them all up. You just throw them roach them termites. Let's throw them termites and get them, boy. Them roach are going to eat them up. I'm always, I like to them myself. But I'm not going to just cry. I see one like a little kid, you know. They raise their foot way up there. So. <laughs> They're just dumping the roach. Let me the roach get away. They don't eat fast. What's that thing about that? See, I grow up. Hey, that was stuff. I said, now, how could that guy do that job? I said, how could he do this? How could he do this? How could he do this? Amen. Are you listening? What's that? One of his strong men armed keepeth his palace. His goods are in peace. I don't know about you, but I'd like my goods to be in peace. Huh? Now, most people are breaking your house while you ain't there. That's what you used to do me when I lived in Jackson. That's why I moved back to Jackson. Uh, I'm just saying. Uh huh? My God, they take my TV, man. You know, I, I ain't never know about broken up at this house and clean. Because we didn't really have nothing. When my nigga was a bed and a rack and stone. What no man? Sister Evelyn, I tell you, praise God. Now, 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 listen, Sister Evelyn, now, she got on up from the side, and then nobody just have to teach her that, you know. But my God said, come in the house, and she didn't want me to drink any water out of, out of the glass. I said, girl, are you crazy? I'll beat your head in. What's wrong with you? I'm going to try to drink some water. And she don't, don't do that glass. I'm like, no, <laughs> Because she don't like some of these real clean women in the church. They go to bed and they sing full of dishes. No, she ain't never. We ain't met water out. Look, when she go to bed, it better not be nothing. Ain't no reason possible to be said. Tell him, brother Law. Brother Law, right now, no, he knows. <laughs> She'll get that stuff straight in that house. And you know, you know, if he ain't working and she's working, that house better be straightened up. And she, that bed better not be messed up and, and laying around. No, she, she drill surgeon is coming. <laughs> Tom, that Manette over there, bro, I guarantee you, baby, Chad is a clean man. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that Manette. You got some maggots around. Let me tell you something. When a maggot don't want you, you're in trouble. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> 